Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V. I'm RJ. I want to update you guys on one of the most talked about subjects when it comes to the Chiliad mystery, the T01 tunnel. There's some pretty crazy stuff going on here. Even when you first walk into the tunnel, you can see a very strange light effect. Did you guys see that? It's like the tunnel goes from bright to amber. I'm not too sure what that's about. Last time we were here, we looked at a very faint sound effect. Most people told me that they thought it was some sort of alien conversation or signal. It's funny that everybody thinks that it might have something to do with aliens, because not too far away from this tunnel, you can find the altruist camp. Those guys are based on a group called Heaven's Gate. If you haven't heard of Heaven's Gate, man, those people were nuts. They eventually had a mass suicide trying to get on board an alien spacecraft. Yeah, it's true. Google it. And the altruist camp, they all died, but that's because Trevor eliminates them all. If you read a report in the game, they think that it might be a mass suicide. Little do they know that it was really Trevor who took them all out. Well, one of the things that people are talking about here when it comes to the tunnel is a possible Morse code message. You can see the lights, and there's also something going on with that bridge out there that we're going to look at. And if you don't think that there's Morse code messages hidden within the game, I can prove it to you right here. If you go onto the internet and simply search for our favorite lovable cult, the Altruists, you can see that their website, once again, a group right here on Mount Chiliad, is completely based on Morse code. You can see it right there. And then the main page itself is all encrypted in Morse code. So what's going on with secret Morse code messages in the game? Maybe there's something going on right here in the tunnel. Thanks again for joining me for the episode. Let's get into it. I appreciate you guys joining up for the brand new episode. It's kind of creepy around here, so you might want to turn off your lights, get comfortable, and I actually have something really crazy to show you outside of the tunnel. But first of all, let's take a look at these lights. When you enter the tunnel, it almost seems like you're entering the twilight zone. Everything changes up, but if you look at those top lights, they change their pattern, so it seems like they're making up a perfect Morse code formation. I've had a couple people look into it, and so far nobody's able to get any hidden messages out of it. It's too bad because it definitely stands out, and aside from the hidden sound effects and the doors, that's really all we have to go with here, other than driving the space docker through trying to reach 88 miles per hour. Once again, you have the ChiliadMystery.com website pointing us in this direction. There's been some debate as to if that website is legit or not. But if it is legit, it is definitely telling us to go there. What do we do next? Well, there is something going on here outside of the tunnel on this bridge. Man, this bridge is very creepy, and it's got some really strange lighting going on as well. If you walk slowly, you will see that the lights turn on as you walk across it. You see that? It just turned on. There goes the next one. And that's a very strange glitch. I mean, there's a lot of lights, not only in Los Santos, but all around San Andreas. And none of them really do that. That seems to be an odd coincidence. And if you look right there in the distance, there's a light in the middle that flickers. Maybe that is making up a Morse code message. The cougar is guarding the bridge. But we need to restart it anyways. It's getting a little bit too bright. So let's return when it's darker. You guys have to check out this light. I have to give a huge shout out to Dibs Gaming. He did some amazing investigative work of the T01 tunnel, which led him here to the bridge. I'll put a link in the description to two really amazing videos. Make sure to show him some love. He only had 19 subscribers when he first started out the investigation. Now he has hundreds, so make sure to subscribe to him. So if you look at the tunnel, as I showed, you have the weird lights that turn off and on, and then that light in the center seems to flicker, giving off a Morse code message. Now, if you come all the way to the opposite end, I notice that most of the time, the other light does not flicker nearly as much, so maybe it's only that one. It could be something in the background kind of fucking with the textures, but to me, it definitely has a chance 
of giving off a Morse code just because of how bright it is and how much it stands out. Let me know if you guys can decipher anything at all. This bridge is so creepy. When we first discovered the spider webs, this was the first location that I was exploring thinking, hey, there's something with this bridge. Maybe it is the location of the third spider web. Those both, of course, are found here on Mount Chiliad, but we haven't been able to find a third. And of course, there's nothing really going on here with the suspension bridge. Definitely a little bit jacked up. I guess it's just a cool place for the bikers to hang out. So once again, guys, let me know if you have any update on the TO1 tunnel. This has been the most popular subject in the Chiliad mystery. And although it is definitely a pretty sick tunnel, really there's not much to do here as far as investigating. I appreciate you guys joining up for the episode. Make sure to stay tuned. Just wanted to give you a quick update of the TO1 tunnel. Everybody's been asking me what I think about the possible Morse code message. Well, right now it seems like it's not the lights on top of the tunnel that might be the message, but maybe the lights outside of the tunnel, but still that place is too creepy. There's way too much going on there for it to be nothing. I have a feeling we'll have a breakthrough very soon. Thanks again, guys. Make sure to stay tuned here to Trippy Commentaries. We'll have a live stream for you tomorrow. As always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.